A long time ago, on the western outskirts of Tsutsui village, around the current Kasuga Hill or Kasuga no Michi, lived a couple named Takejiro and Moe. They were hard workers and Moe was a kind-hearted wife more than anyone else. When she saw someone in need, she couldn't leave them alone. But despite that, their family was very poor. But still, they worked very hard. Next to the couple's house lived a man named Ginzo. Ginzo was a stingy and spiteful and hated man in the village. One day, a poorly dressed old man collapsed in front of Ginzo's house and looked like he was about to die. His hair was messy and his kimono was tattered. But with his long beard, he still looked a respectable old man. Ginzo thought, a nasty guy has appeared. Can you give me a bowl of rice? The old man said. I don't want to feed strangers. Ginzo replied, slammed the door and walked into the house. Moe, who had just returned from fieldwork, passed by. She felt pity to the old man, let him into their house, and gladly served him with the little food they had. It's delicious, the old man said. After eating, he gave Moe a long fine beard in return. When you are in great trouble, float it in the pond and make a wish, he said and went off the mountain. Moe and Takejiro returned to their daily hard work. However, Takejiro, who used to be energetic, started to feel ill from the beginning of summer. He easily got tired working at their field until one day, he couldn't even get up from the futon. Despite of Moe's devoted care, Takejiro only got worse day by day as if he wouldn't last the next day. Holding her head, Moe remembered the old man's words and that long fine beard. Moe immediately thought about which pond to float it and what came to mind was Kagoike or the basket pond. The Kagoike was at the end of the Kasuga Hill all the way north which still remains as the street called Kagoike Dori. As for why it is called the basket pond, it seems that this pond leaked a lot, just like a basket with rough mesh and could not store water. However, it was rumored that the pond was inhabited by the dragon god. Despite having no wind in this pond, there were big waves and thumping sounds in the middle of the night. So the villagers thought it was caused by the dragon god, and they thought that the dragon lived in a cage in the pond. That's why Moe thought, This is the only pond where you can float a beer. However, there's no way that a dragon god lived in a basket pond with so many leaks and with only a little water. Actually, it was the catfish that lived in this pond. It is believed that if a catfish moves, an earthquake occurs. Catfish are lonely when they are alone. So in order not to be forgotten by the villagers, they move their beard and sometimes make the water surface rippling, creating waves or make loud noises. The villagers who heard of the rumor about the dragon god were happy to bring an offering once in a while. Unknowingly, it was actually a good-natured catfish that lived there. So Moe did as the old man had told her and floated a long beard on the surface of the pond and prayed with all her heart that Takejiro's illness would be cured soon. Then the long beard that was floating on the surface of the water sank as if something had pulled it from the water. When Moe saw this, she thought it was a dragon god and she was happy and hurriedly ran back to Takejiro. But actually, when the catfish saw the floating beard, it got curious and pulled it a little. At that moment, the long fine beard suddenly shone brightly before it disappeared. The catfish was amazed. When Moe arrived home, Takejiro was back in good health just as expected. Moe thought that it was the doing of the dragon god because she went to Kagoike with a beard to pray. Immediately, the two of them went to thank the dragon god of Kagoike with an offering. The unsuspecting catfish was surprised, but the good-natured catfish was happy to be offered to again after a long time. Strangely enough, 
As soon as Takejiro was healed, their neighbor Ginzo fell ill of an unknown disease. Upon hearing this, the two went back to the pond again to pray to the Dragon God. Dragon God, thank you very much for listening to our request the other day. This time, our neighbor Ginzo is suffering from an illness. Please give me that beard again, Moe asked desperately as she headed for the pond. The catfish that was listening at the bottom of the pond became impatient. Then he remembered that strange beard. Was that the beard of the dragon god, he thought. But the catfish had already eaten the offerings he received, so he has to do something about it. After thinking about it, the catfish decided to give its own beard. So the catfish originally had four beards, and the good-natured catfish floated two beards on the surface of the pond. Then he said, Listen, Moe, walk down the slope of Kasuga while chanting, The god of Kagoike is the god of thanksgiving. After you have finished chanting, float the beard again in this pond and make a wish. In three days, that wish will surely be granted. Then Moe thought, Compared to the previous beard, this is very short and suspicious. Now, the catfish had only two beards left. A catfish without a beard is not a catfish. When the beard is gone, it is not possible to make noise or to make waves in the water just like before. The catfish thought of this, but still, he gave Takejiro and Moe his two precious beards. But if he gives all four, it will be the greatest trouble for the catfish. After much thinking, the good-natured catfish decided to give them the other two beards. Now the catfish's beards are gone. Even so, the good-natured catfish wanted to respond to the feelings of Moe and Takejiro, who relied on him many times, even though he had no power of his own. With the beards in their hands, the two did as they were told. So what do you think happened next? Ginzo got better with each day, and on the third day, he was well enough to move around. Moe told Ginzo what had happened. This time, the three went to thank the dragon god of Kagoike with many offerings, and Ginzo apologized for being called to the old man before. On their way back to Kagoike, they heard some villagers talking about a big catfish living in the pond. Moe and Takejiro said, Oh yes, the last beard we got was indeed small and short. It must have been the catfish's beard. The good-natured catfish, still with his beard off, was holding four beards in his hands and was so depressed that he could not think of anything. He was crying because he no longer had the pleasure of making noises and making waves in the water like he used to do. Thinking all of that, he began living a dark and sad life in a corner of the pond. The real dragon god of Nunubiki waterfalls, who had been watching all along, thought that he could not leave it like this. So he went to Kagoike and said, Hey catfish, I will entrust you with the important role of guardian to protect the villagers. I will restore your beard. After that, if the villagers in this village had any trouble, instead of chanting, The god of Kagoike is the god of thanksgiving, they began holding something shiny and long in their hands, went around the hill of Kasuga, and said, The, the catfish, catfish of Kasuga, Kasuga Hill, hill is, is a good-natured good catfish. catfish. The, the catfish, catfish of Kasuga, Kasuga Hill is a good-natured good catfish. catfish. Before making a wish or a request.